I have Nicholas here at MACNA 2013 with uh, Vertex, and he's going to tell me a little bit about the uh, up-and-coming Cerebra new controller. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, guys. So first of all, the Cerebra is a company control system. What means not only that it shows you the information, it even takes control. Let's say that Cerebra is just a good body who's taking care about your home while you're not there, and the good thing is he's not dating your girlfriend. So <laughs> what the thing does is it shows you directly an indication what's going on about your check. First of all, you get a color indication. You see the icons are green. Everything is in good condition now. That's perfect. The color will change if the upper and lower values you decided for, uh, before that will uh, raise, so it gets also other color. Red is a bad sign, but the green is perfect. If it's something red or orange, you can take care of it. That's or pretty easy to understand. Uh, everybody knows red's bad. Uh, pretty much everything. So that's nice. Exactly. So this thing can do a lot of things for you. It can even go for you and um, change things while uh, you're working on that. So if you're an out, for example, um, you can connect these probes easily to other probes and to plugs and it will handle these information for you while you're not there. The temperature raised, that means you will have the fan running, you will have the chiller running, you will uh, maybe shut off your light. This thing can guide rules so that uh, you set up the rules and it will handle the rules for you while no, you're not there. Well, I notice it, it's almost like a computer in itself. Most of the controllers out there, you need a computer to set it up or you're fumbling around with uh, the very limited options that are on the interface. And, and here, we have all the interface right where you need it. So Exactly, because what we can do here directly, you go in the, even the single app, for example, in the plug system, and there you have all the information you need first. Here are even the uh, upper plug alert level, also the lower plug alert level. It reads the current on each plug and let you know if maybe a pump is sucked because it's too much calcium inside. It raised the current. In this case, you can say like if the current is raised, you make a rule to another plug, start please my backup pump and shut down this pump because something is wrong. You don't have to take care, but your tank is secure. Well, not only are you taking care of your tank, the return's going, which means your filtration is, exactly. is active, but you could be possibly saving that other pump from additional damage as well by maybe shutting it off. Exactly. Imagine that you have a, a flow level sensor, and your uh, flow level sensor indicates you that uh, your water level is pretty low, and then there is an issue with the, re uh, with the uh, I'm sorry, it was the uh, return of some fresh water, so the water level uh, goes down and down pump? and down. Yeah, something like that. So in this case, you can tell this guy, like, if the flow level goes too much low, please shut off the pump instead of dry run. So you have some settings you can carry up. But I can show you here on this device, for example, shortly. Because what you can do, and this is the pretty new feature in this one, you go on, for example, for a temperature probe. You know, I've got farmer fingers. So we get this new assignment wheel. That means you have a temperature probe, and you want to assign the temperature probe to one of your plugs, for example, to take care about some tasks. So you go on this task, and you get rules. So you can make set up your rules now, what should be. An example was temperature probe connected to fan, to chiller, to light. Start my fan, start my chiller, shut off my light. If uh, the temperature goes down, vice versa, st uh, start my light again, stop my fan, stop my chiller. So this thing can handle everything what you normally have to do while you're getting the information something is in bad condition right away. He's just informing you something was wrong, I handle it for you, no worry buddy, enjoy your holiday. You know, I noticed that uh, on the, the temperature probe that you have here, that uh, you have the green LED light system as well. Does that mean that uh, if the temperature's off in this, it's gonna turn red on the probe? It, uh, will you be able to visually see it there as well? Exactly, when everything is setting up properly, that means you have an indication by these colors not only on the screen, you also have it on the set temperature probe. That means, for example, the screen is maybe off, but you look in your filtration system, and the red LED on the temperature indicates directly that something is wrong, and you have to take care maybe about it. So you have directly more visible possibilities to see that you take, have to take notice of it. 
I noticed on the side here you have a bunch of B and C connections. Uh, are they pre-assigned uh, to different types of probe, like only one ORP or three PH, or can you use them for anything? Well, let's say you have the freedom to connect whatever you want. As soon as it's a, a probe with a USB connection, you can connect it to a USB. If it's something with BNC, a probe, you connect it to it. The system will recognize the probe, and also only the probes will uh, come up. I show you a little example. If the plug is not inside, it will also show you not the probes. If you replug the uh, probe to get uh, back or even some other thing, it will recognize all the possibility what is connected to it. So I could plug in uh, a pH probe to any one of these connectors and it'll auto-recognize sure. that this is a pH probe exactly. and uh, treat it accordingly? Exactly. That's pretty nice. Is there anything else? Well, I think the only thing what I can show you else is because we have a, also a cloud service based on that. That means we have an internet connection for this prepared. What also has a lot of benefit to the customer. First of all, you get statistics analysis online with a web browser. No need of some special software on your uh, uh, computer, Mac, whatever. So you can directly access the uh, cloud service with your logins and check the, the statistics of some values of your system the last couple of days, months, years. The other good thing is that while you're sitting at your tank, you have normally one issue. When you buy a new product, you're sitting there, nobody's reading the manual, everybody has a lot of questions. So what you want to do is you need help. Normally it's uh, something like a quarter past eight, your local free store is closed, nobody will answer your question, your body is out. So what you can do is you go on the normal Android system, you start a web browser for that, and then you can go to YouTube, uh, what is here not connected online anymore, maybe we change to the other one shortly. So you start your web browser, you go on the YouTube channel, you search for the product you bought and you see the installation video of the product in HD quality Perfect. while you're at the tank. The idea was to connect everything to each other, the Libra will be connectable, the dimming module will be connectable and even the Illumina soon will also uh, get an update that you can connect it to the Cerebra easily. Alright man, thanks for your time, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.